This bumblebee garden is being created for the Wildlife Connections project. We're putting in a lot of bumblebee friendly plants. Things like lavender and rosemary. Apples to show the value of uh, pollination. This garden was originally a rock garden, and um, so we had some like nice sandstone that we could use to like terrace the uh, the borders, um, and also provide a, a nice little habitat for potential nesting. People who have been coming to the zoo for a while will have noticed we've moved away largely from traditional bedding plants towards more uh, perennial plants, trees and shrubs. The plants that we're now using are much more bee bumblebee friendly. So only female bumblebees have a sting, but they're very unlikely to sting you because they're very non-aggressive. All they're interested in doing is finding pollen and nectar to feed themselves and their family back in the nest. It's very easy to make your garden bumblebee friendly and um, inexpensive as well. Bumblebees, even on a full stomach, are only 40 minutes away from starvation, which is why it's so important that everybody can do, you know, just plant a pot with some flowers in. It all helps to keep them going. One of the easiest ways to make your garden bumblebee friendly is to plant the right plants. Bumblebees like big like clumps of colour and, um, and single flowers so that they can get the pollen off um, easily. Flowering plants like daisies and um, dandelions and clover allow those to flower in your lawn and they're a great food source for the bumblebees. It's so important for all sorts of people in different places to do it because then they can fly around and find somewhere else if the place they're at hasn't got it.